What's up guys, Flynn Victini here, and we are back for another OST series. Uh, I did record an earlier series, but I didn't want to upload it because it wasn't that great. And basically there's been a racket, bracket recreation if you don't know already, although you should, because Neuroff was found to be ghosting during the finals, and basically a repeat of last year happened. So we've got Badass vs. Seam at this point. Uh, looks like, I think this is game one, so Badass's uh, Latios went down early to a crit u-turn uh and then trying to predict or okay so then basically um basically badass tried to predict a protect from the diancy and the diancy just went straight for the diamond storm and took it out so amungus got a spore on the jirachi and seam got up his rocks and this torn is in now this torn depending on its set could be very dangerous especially because the diancy is only at 50 percent uh if it has um if it has Super Power or Focus Blast, that'll be pretty difficult for Seam to switch into as he actually goes for the HP Ice. So yeah, that was another thing to consider because he wouldn't be able to Oko the Lino T without the HP Ice. And um, yeah, so he is Life Orb HP Ice. Life Orb Torn is definitely a lot harder for Seam to switch into and I think it'll be better for Badass right here. Now, I don't know if he's HP Ice Heat Wave, HP Ice Focus Blast slash Super Power. I'm not really sure what his set is, but um, he definitely wants to wear down the Magnetum a little bit and wear down the Kyurem a little bit. And I really think he can actually win with Torn, just because Diancy is so low and also runs naive nature. Eventually, U turns will get it into Hurricane Range if it isn't already, and I think it's at 50%. I don't know the exact Hurricane health. But maybe just one U-turn and that Dancy is going to be in Hurricane range. And Badass has a fairly good switch into Dancy in his Amoongus. Uh, this Magnazone, he just needs to get, a bit, depending on his coverage, he needs to get Probrit Chip on Magnazone and the Kyurem. And then from there, he kind of just goes to town. Like, Gladios can take a hit too, but it's not the best switch in. So, Seam actually pulls a switch into his Landorus. Not really sure why. As Torn does outrun Scarf Magnazone, even if it is Scarf, and if you're hard switching out Mag, like I, I don't really understand why he switched out Magnazone. If he's gonna go back into Landorus, maybe he, maybe he doesn't have Volt Switch. That's entirely possible. Maybe he doesn't have Volt Switch. And but um, there's the Heat Wave. It gets a burn on the Lando T. I don't think it's gonna matter too much in the long run unless Seam wanted to save this Lando T. But I mean, it, it might play a role depending on how depending on how Seam wanted to play the game out. But Badass can just fire off another HP Ice here without really any big worries. And this Torn is a really big problem for Seam. I'm presuming his Rachi was yeah his Rachi was Scarf because it outran Latios so. Uh, Seam does save his Lando T to pivot into his Kyurem, and we see, I don't know what we can tell from that HP Ice damage, a double Scarf is very very unlikely, this is probably just his Life Orb Kyurem B right here, so if Badass has U-Turn, he can just U-Turn out here, I don't know if he's actually knockoff, sometimes they run, sometimes they don't run U-Turn in favor of knockoff or taunt, Good, depending on the, what coverage you want to run. But, um, he does hard switch out, so he does not have U-turn, and there's a fusion bolt doing a pretty decent chunk to the scissor, and we see no item, so now I'm really interested, what is that Kyurem's item, so I'm gonna run a calc, um, we haven't mecha yet, we don't have a Kyurem, Kyurem B, OU Mixed Wall Breaker, Fusion Bolt, wow, so that might be Choice Band, no, but Choice Band would run like, a lot more attack. Choice band. Yeah, that, I mean, even that's not choice band unless it's a lot, much more physically defensive scissor, so it could be choice band. Like, let's say it's like just some random. Yeah, I mean, it could. I don't know what else it would be though to get that, that much damage on the scissor. Seam does just go straight to his Magna Zone, and there we see Badass does not have. Or, like, Glizgor is a good intermediate play. Because if Seam stays in, he's probably going to go for another Fusion Bolt, and you can suspect that he may be choice locked into it. And if he goes into Magnazone, Gliscor works out well for him right there. So it's a little risk-free risk compared to you turning out, so you may still have you turn on the Scissor. Uh, Seam does bring in his Burned Landris, and there we see a Facade. See the Helmet, and yeah, this land maybe the Burn is going to play a role. Maybe the Burn did help out Badass a little bit in this. But I still think Torn is a very, very difficult 
like thing for Seam to deal with. Now that the Jirachi is spored, which is the one thing that was outrunning it, this is looking pretty, pretty tough for um for badass. But um, sorry for for Seam regarding beating the Torn, but it could be Akaberry Zone. It could be. I I kind of uh I don't know. I don't know if it'd be Aka Tropel. I'm thinking it's a berry. I don't know. I just feel like it would be a berry. That's just what my hunch says. It goes into Torn. I'm not entirely sure why. Is that suddenly like, Kiron come back in and you don't have a U-turn to whittle it? But yeah, I'm not really sure why he went to Torn. Maybe he was... I don't know what Gliscor would be afraid of from a burned Landris. Because they don't run HP Ice in this gen and... Especially when you have a Kirom, I don't think there's a really big need to run HP Ice, especially on some teams. HP Ice makes sense in Oras even, but... Anyway... Uh... Um... Badass doesn't have a good switch in for Kirom. Kirom is definitely the biggest problem uh, for Badass's team, I think. Perhaps the Latios and the... Nah, nah, I think Kirom is the biggest problem for Badass's team. And... He doesn't really have a switch in, he might... He, see, he wants to keep his Scizor around because it can check pretty much all of Seam's team except for the Magna Zone. But then again, the Magna Zone just traps and removes it, so I don't know how useful the Scizor is anymore. And I don't know, like, if, if Seam just goes for another Fusion Bolt, which I think he will, you either have to go out into Amoongus or Gliscor, and the problem here is that Amoongus and Gliscor don't really pressure uh, Seam's team that much, but Seam does go for the Dragon Claw, so I think this will give Heatran a chance to get up the rocks, unless Seam wants to go into his Diancie. So, I, I don't know, if Badass can get up his rocks, he goes to his Latios, does he get up those rocks? No, he just goes for the Lava Plume. Um, would this be Earthquake, Latios? I mean, Heatran can usually tank one Earthquake. And getting up rocks, I think, pretty much seals the deal for Badass, provided he can hit Hurricanes, to take out that Kiram. I really don't think that Kiram is Scarf. Let me just make sure that they can't be Scarf. Scizor. Whatever, 60. Let's say. Let's say it's Scarf, Max Attack. Kiram B, oh, you choice Scarf. 252. Fusion Bolt. Yeah, that, that can't be. Let's say this has no bulk. Oh, I. Okay. Yeah, that, that can't be Scarf. It literally cannot be Scarf. Even if it's Adamant. Oh, I, I guess it could technically be an Adamant Scarf, Kiram B, but it's highly unlikely. So there is the Surf. And Badass goes for a Double Blabo Plume. Okay. I can't really say I agree with that. I think you would have gotten up your rocks at that point. If I were a Badass, but I guess he gets it in range of HP Ice, maybe? Oh my, I, I don't know, I really would have gotten up my rocks if I were badass. I Maybe he's trying to predict the Diancy too hard, but the, like, if you're predicting the dance Diancy, even each, even Lava Plume is not going to do that much to it. So I'm not really sure why you'd let this Kiram not come in so freely. Uh, this, I mean, I think badass should have gotten up the rocks with his Heatran. I think Seam should have just gone straight for the Fusion Bolt because Amoongus... He's not bothering the Magna Zone at all, and Gliscor... Well, I mean, Gliscor is kind of annoying. He goes straight for the Hurricane, and gets knocked out by the... Yeah, this is pretty much over. Even if he had... Even if he had... I don't know, is there any way he can win this? Can Spadef Gliscor win this? I don't know. Maybe Spadef Gliscor can win? I kind of doubt it. And so the Kyurem does go down, but this is looking pretty much over. Looking pretty much over for Badass. Into the Latios, Psyshock. Oh, Psychic too, wow. And this has to be like, really Spadef, really, really Spadef. Maybe he has a shot then. Oh, that's doing a lot, but he can still roost all that. He can still roost all that. At least for that role, he was able to roost all that. I don't know if that was a high or a low role. This Latios probably does not have Roost on its own. It's probably three attacks, Defog. So, he, he's probably just gonna... This Gliscor could win. It really could. That's the surprising part. Oh my god, there's a Draco Meteor miss. That's gonna be bad for Seam. 
Yeah, I, let's let's just calc something. I want to see how much Spadef the Split Score has. I think I think Seam's play is to save the Latios, try to get damage on the Gliscor with Diancy, and then try to get the Draco Meter kill. I think it's still not over for Seam. Still not over. Uh, Surf did a 63%. Wow, so that is wow, that is a very Spadef Gliscor. Dang. And that was a low roll surf. And oh wow, so he had he did have a good chance to kill with Draco Meter, but um I still think this game can go to Seam if he just saves his Latios, sacks something else, goes to Diancy, gets off a big hit on the Gliscor to put it in range of Latios Draco Meter. I mean this is yeah, I mean Draco Meter is doing six, 68 min. So that shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, it's, it seems like Seam is following that plan. EQ takes out the zone, in comes in the Diancy, yeah, pretty much, and second miss? It depends on how much this Moonblast does. How much does this Moonblast do? That's doing enough, that's doing enough. Yeah, that's pretty much a win unless Seam misses again. Unless Seam misses again. If he misses again, this is going to be a wild day. <laughs> I really think that I should have gotten up his rocks. I think I pretty much sealed the game to just spam rocks. I think honestly he should have just gotten in his heatran and just kept clicking rocks. And no matter what team did, he'd eventually get those rocks up. And I think that was the win con. And nope. So Seam does hit the Draco Meteor, takes out that Gliscor. And we're gonna be going on to game two. So I'll be back when that happens. Alright guys, we're back for game 2. Now unfortunately, I have to play my own series at this time, and I really wanted to record this OST series, so I might like have to do a lot of editing <laughs> to work a narration of this in. Or maybe I'll just infuse both of them into one video, I don't know, but I really want to record this series. I think it's on one of the highlight o uh, o OST series, and I really wanted to get it more important than my own seasonal match to be honest, but there we see a clef without leftovers. That is something new. I don't know what on earth it would be if it's not leftovers. Counter Babiri Berry, here we go. Counter, please be Counter Babiri Berry. That would be amazing. That would be like, oh my god. That would be impeccable. But, um. Oh, okay, so. Alright, so we're back. Um, I'm gonna check on Smogon real quick, but I think Badass's best bet is to probably go out into his Rotom. Maybe, cool. Maybe he could go into his Metagross, but he can't go straight to Lando because of the clear body right now and the threat of Ice Punch. So I would consider going Rotom. A lot of these things run Dual Punch and sometimes lack Zen Headbutt too. So yeah, um, I'm gonna pause it and I'll be back when they make a move. Okay, so we see that Seam pulls a very nice double switch into his Breloom, predicting the Rotom, which kind of shows me that perhaps he does not have Zen Headbutt on his Metagross, otherwise he might have tried to go for the damage so that his Metagross can eventually break later on in the game. But uh, he gets the Spore on the Lando T, which means Badass probably won't be getting up rocks very easily this game. But if it's Helmet, he can use it to pivot around the Metagross, get some Intimidates going once it Mega Evolves, and try to get some Helmet damage on it. Um, Seam is in a pretty like good position to just fire off a Bullet Seed. If he wants to be aggressive though, he can predict the Metagross. And Badass just decides to try to waste a Sleep Turn right here, so he has a chance of using this later on in the game, which is perfectly fine. Uh, Seam might just go straight for the Vol Switch right here, predicting the Clef again, and that'll put him in a good position. And he actually goes straight for the Hydro Pump, and wow, the lack of leftovers on Clef is really, really weird. Because that's almost gonna die to the Hydro Pump, which is ridiculous, but probably. Oh my god. It rocks. Is this Sash Clef? It doesn't really make sense to me on Badass's team, but. Oh my god. I don't really understand why. Badass just threw away his answer to Rotom, but I'm suspecting that this may not even have soft world. Considering that we didn't see the leftovers, I was actually considering Sash, but I threw away the idea because I didn't understand why you would switch Sash, Clefable into Rotom. But then again, Badass's team seems really funky regardless. 
and yeah, I don't really understand why he did that, but he did, so he's gonna go with- Oh wow, Seam actually went straight for the H-Pump, not even the Volt Switch, and gets a crit on that Rotom, and they're probably gonna exchange Wisps or something right here. I'll pause it till I'm back for the next move. Oh, never mind, so Seam actually predicts the Wisp, goes into his Heatran, very nicely played. Uh, and we do see that the Heatran is indeed faster than this Rotom, so... And once this Rotom goes down, Metagross kind of runs through. Like, this is looking heavily in Seam's favor. I can see... How does Badass win? Badass wins with... Bisharp. Bisharp plus Metagross. I think Badass... That's, I think that's Badass's... Oh, also Seam has not the greatest Keldeo answers if you can weaken that Latios, but... Yeah, definitely. I think Bisharp plus Metagross is the way for Badass to win. It's not looking very easy, but it's possible. So... I'm gonna pause it until they make the next move. Alright, so Seam decides to get up his rocks and Badass misses his Hydro Pump on the Heatran, which is gonna be really bad because he's just gonna take a massive chunk from that, well not massive, but a pretty hefty chunk from that Lava Plume plus an extra Toxic Damage, and this Rotom is pretty much gone, so this is looking very, very bad for Badass. honestly think that Seam is gonna get the 2-0 lead in this situation. Um, Seam can probably just, if he has Force Palm, I think he'll just fire that off. Badass might just sack his Clefable right here, I'm not really sure. Well, yeah, because it's outrun by pretty much everything on Seam's team and just dies. So, he sacks his Clef, in comes the Metagross. Yup, there's the Metagross. And I know Badass likes to run have Zen Headwell on his Metagross, so that might benefit him. Here, yeah, I don't know. He, if he can catch the Rotom on a switch with the meter with the Zen Headbutt and then weaken it into a range for another one, then I can see him having a chance, especially, or if he can remove the Breloom, then the Bisharp does a ton of work, but I don't think Seam, I think Seam will be very careful about his Breloom, especially since it's such a big threat versus Badass. And I'm gonna pause it till he makes another move. Alright, so Badass goes for the Zen Headbutt as Seam pulls a smart switch into his Metagross, and it seems as if Badass forgot to Mega Evolve his Metagross. Because he definitely does not have another Mega on his team, so... I don't know, I feel like Badass is losing control of the series. He's definitely... Seam is definitely outplaying him in this one, and I think he kind of choked a little bit in the first one. He wins the speed tie, goes for the Thunder Punch, and Seam just goes for a Meteor Mash. To do a pretty much, I think, the same damage. What is the base power of Meteor Mash? 100? That's a Thunder Punch. Seems like I'm lagging a little bit. Oh, it's 90. So that goes to 135, and that- so Thunder Punch is a little bit stronger than Meteor Mash, but Meteor Mash gives you the chance for the attack raise, so I guess Seam just got a higher roll there, or maybe Badass got a lower roll there. But I think- I think trading Metagross heavily favors Seam, because his Breloom and his Rotom themselves are just pretty big problems to Badass's team. This is looking very, very grim for Badass. I really don't see a good way out for him, <laughs> to be completely honest. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how he's gonna win this. He's gonna have to pull- I think he's gonna try to get in Bisharp as many times as he can to just wear down on the key members of Seam's team. If he can do that without dropping too much to the- because the Breloom also lets the Metagross in. So he does sack his Rotom. And there's the Hammer Arm. So I think Badass- yeah, I th I think he has to go Bisharp, honestly, and try to get a kill with it. If he can get a kill with Bish- yeah, he needs to get a kill with the Bisharp here, and if he can play this Bisharp perfectly, he might have a chance at this game. I'm gonna pause it till they make another move. Alright, so Seam pulls a switch into his Latios on the Bisharp, gets taken out by the knockoff, and brings in his Breloom. Now, uh, Badass goes straight into his Landorus T, and Seam goes straight for the Bullet Seed, and that, looking at the damage, that's, that, yeah, that's doing a lot, and that was 3 hits, so Badass is gonna pull another switch into his Metagross, pivoting on the Bullet Seed. If Seam gets a lot of hits here, that might be bad, but only 3, that's, that's okay for Badass, as long as he can stay out of mock range. Maybe he can win with... Oh my god! That paralysis is gonna help him a lot, cause now I can see Keldeo getting a chance to win, especially once the Rotom gets overloaded. You know, I, like, I think if Seam really needs to be careful with his Rotom, if his, if his Rotom gets knocked down to the point where Keldeo can kill it, this can quickly turn into Badass's favor. That T-Punch saves Badass from having to win a speed tie right there, and 
I don't know how much I agree with sacking Latios, because Latios was doing a good amount of damage to Battis' team, but at the same time I can understand because Bisharp was a threat, so Seam is going to save his Metagross as a sack and goes into his Lino T. Very nice play, and Badass just goes straight for the Thunder Punch. I think if I were him, I would have gone for the Meteor Mash. Don't really understand why, but... Yeah, I, I, the Meteor Mash would have killed the Metagross at that point, so I don't really understand why he didn't go for the Meteor Mash and instead went for the T-Punch, but... Because the Meteor Mash, I guess the Helmet, I, I don't know, but he wants to... He doesn't really have a good switch into the Slanders. And now that Seam saves the sack with this Metagross... Oh, it's Scarf Lato T. I completely forgot about that one. So yeah, Meteor Mashing definitely would have helped him right there. And he goes for the Zen Headbutt. You're literally letting this Metagross save itself as a sack, but I guess Seam does not want to mess around with that, so, because the thing is, if he has a sack, that means, um, it means Keldeo can do less damage, but I completely forgot that Scarf Lando T was there, so it's not gonna be, I, I still think this game is kind of on Seam's lock, kind of. <sighs> How much did a U-turn do to this, Metagross? Need to run a calc, I'll pause it and I'll be right back. Alright, so the Lando T goes for the U-turn, takes out the Metagross, and Seam brings in the Rotom right here. So Badass, I'm thinking... I mean, I think Badass kind of has to hope that he can outrun his Bisharp with his... his the Loom with his Bisharp. I really hope you run Jolly Sharp, but it, it wasn't Life Orb. I think when you're Life Orb, you can especially afford to run Jolly Sharp. But the fact that he's not life for it makes leads me to believe that he's adamant sharp and i think his best way to his only way to win this game is to go keldeo right here and kind of bisharp sweep i think that's the only way out at this point yeah i think i think he has to oh he goes to his bisharp well maybe he's praying for a will-o-wisp miss maybe he's lumberry um hold on guys i'll be right back Alright, I'm back. So Badass goes straight for the knockoff and Seam goes straight for the Voltage. I kind of agree with that for sure because Rotom would be under speeding the Bish and he can get in his Loom on the Bish. So I'm pretty sure Badass has no choice but to like pray and Sucker Punch. But yeah, this is pretty much over. So I think this is pretty much game. I'm going to pause it, but it's pretty much, pretty much game. I don't know. Can Scarf Keldeo win with crits? I really don't think it's possible. I think this game is pretty much over. Um, I would Jolly, Jolly Life Orb Sharp, please. Please run Jolly Life Orb Sharp. Anyway, I'm gonna pause it. Alright guys, I wasn't able to catch the rest of this game or the rest of the series live, but I will be recording the replays, which I have not seen yet. So, we've got this Breloom in on the Keldeo, and it's probably just gonna go for the Mach Punch. Seam doesn't really have a choice to switch out and save this, nor a really good reason to do so either way. And the Kel's actually gonna go for the Hydro Pump. Um, I actually want to see how much Hydro Pump does to Rotom just to check that out. So, Keldeo, oh, you all out attacker versus Rotom. Wash. And oh, Hydro Pump actually kills from that range. So, he definitely needs to hit some Hydros. Uh, so, Seam goes into his Lando T. I think he's kind of forced to. And if Badass switches to his sleeping Lando T right here on a U turn, I think it's pretty much game. Actually, it's not exactly game, but he does go to his Lando T as Seam Earthquakes. Well, I think Seam has to go to his Rotom here and then win a 50-50 with the Keldeo versus Rot Lando, but instead Seam chooses to stay in and Earthquake again. I'm not really sure what that accomplishes, because Badass can know exactly what Seam is doing, and unless he woke up that turn and U-turned, he would have... this. He gets this position. Oh my god, I think Badass just won. How on earth? This game felt so on lock on Seam's end, but I think Badass just won because of Sleeping Scarf Lando just pulling it through. I don't really understand why Seam double EQ'd there. I think his only choice was to go to Rotom and then perhaps Volt Switch and a Keldeo Switch, or just straight up H-Pump and then Stone Edge or something. Like, uh, I'm not really sure why, but... Uh, I mean... I Yeah, I mean, how much does Rotom Hydro do to Keldeo? Twenty. I don't know if that puts it in range of Stone Edge. Yeah, it does. So I guess it have to be some hitting mitts or some hitting, uh, hitting some hits or hitting some moves or doing a little prediction. But Badass somehow pulls that through with this Keldeo. So I guess nicely played on his end. So we're one-one, and I'll be back with the next game.
Alright guys, we're back for game 3. Now I'm gonna have to record the last two games as recordings. And no, I have not viewed, I have not actually seen these games prior to the recording. So this is gonna be completely new to me. So, Badass is using a very interesting stall team. Usually you don't see Chess not very often or Gastrid. But... And Heatran is a good defensive on, but generally not a stall member, so we have seen that is pretty cool. Seam is going to be using a Diancy Mag double fairy team, actually, which is pretty interesting. So let's just get right into it. Badass is going to lead off with his Chestnut, as he leads off with his Diancy. Badass's best answer to Diancy is his Chansey, so he's just going to go straight to that. As Seam probably just fires off a Moonrest. No, he just protects just in case Badass, like, I guess camera arms so he stays in the moon blast and yeah i'm not really sure why that s toss was pretty free on badass's end i guess he predicted uh badass to rocks predicting the card draw but we see the rocks right there so that's really well played on badass's end sorry my nose is so stuffy but uh in comes the sableye uh hazards just rocks doesn't really bother badass too much and he actually pulls a double switch to gastard on predicting diancy and gets wrecked when Seam just SDs, wow. So, oh, that's a really physically defensive Gastron. That's probably Lum Chomp. Yeah, there's the Lumberry. That's probably why Seam SD'd so freely. So that's really, really good for Seam, and this is looking a little difficult for, um, for Badass, and I just noticed that he got a crit burn. I didn't notice he crit, but yeah, in comes the Torrent. Torrent gives a nice feeling to this team because it gives him a little more offensive presence. And he goes for the HP Ice, and it's actually Life Orb Torrent, so you don't see that every day. As he goes straight for the Heat Wave and takes out the Mag, not Aquaberry. Shame. If that was Aquaberry, that would have been straight fire, but in comes the Azumarill, and Badass has really no good answers to this. He goes into his Heatran on a waterfall. Yeah, this is looking really rough for Badass. Really looking like Seam has the advantage here. In comes the Chestnut. Seam goes to his Latios. And does Badass just leech seed? No, he just lays up those spikes. And so the Diancy could have come in. That would have been a really big play. Really big play. But Chansey's probably going to come out now. I slowed down the recording because it was going a little too fast. I don't think I had much insight. And I think... The only way Badass wins is to get in his Torn as much as possible and kind of rip through Seam's team. Uh, the, the Torn definitely is a really big threat to Seam, especially with that spike up to wear down the Diancy even more. And the Chansey kind of holds a lot of stuff. Really, once he removes the Diancy, Sableye also does a lot of work. I think Seam's biggest threat is his Azumarill and um, to an extent his Diancy. And we see the Landers just goes for the EQ, does not take out the Chansey. And I think that's not DD, I think it's actually Scarf Landers T. Looking at the fact that he has not SD'd yet, if he did, if he was a DD Landers T, this game would have been done. Completely done, but um, I'm not really sure why he's continuously earthquaking. Maybe he's going for a crit, but even if he gets a crit, it's only going to do around 50. It's not really going to gain him much ground, so I think if, I definitely think he should have switched out to Suzumarill sooner. But, um, oh, interestingly enough, Badass pulls a switch into his Chestnut on the turn that the Azumarill comes in. Now, looking at Badass's team, this Chestnut should outrun Azumarill, at least hit 200 speed, because he is weak to BB Azu, and yes, there we see the Hammer Arm, so that's going to be very, very big for Badass. I don't know, I, if I was him, I wouldn't have let Azumarill in, because it seemed very obvious to me that the Chestnut would be fast. And I guess he was hoping for a miss or thought he was faster. And in comes the Diancy and the Chansey. I don't know how healthy it is, but I think he can. It does come in. I don't know if Diamond Storm to a KO is even. And Seam goes for the Diamond Storm and misses. Oh, that's going to set him back in case of making any potential progress. So He's gonna go to his chomp, and yeah, he needs SD chomp to break, but at this point, I think Torn might just win the game. His only answer to it is missing and Scarf Land OT, and it is HP Ice Torn, so even that does not work. I think Torn pretty much just wins. Uh, he's going to his chestnut right here on the guard chomp, as it does SD, and. Oh my god, it seems like Seam was running max attack Diancy, which makes a lot of sense on his team, to break for his chomp and Latios against Clefable, but, um. Yeah, okay, so apparently it was a 2 KO, so that, that, that miss was annoying, but I think Badass kind of just won with his Torn. I mean, 
Seam definitely had a shot though, definitely, because he'd have he'd have to pull some doubles and get rid of anything that can take on the Lando Scarf Lando T. But um, he gets the kill on the guard jump with the wood hammer. And I think Torn's just gonna go ham at this point. I guess Latios is a little bit healthy to take on the Torn. And knowing badass, it probably was not U turn Tornadus. It's probably oh he probably he already revealed Heat Wave HPI, so it's probably knockoff last move. And yeah, so keeping the chance he definitely helped him. So he's gonna go for the toss right here, I presume, as Seam reveals the roost. So I guess it could come down to a little game of guessing toxic and stuff, but Honestly, Badass has no risk of toxicking. Oh, actually, I, my bad, he's T-Wave. I thought he was toxic for some reason. I swear he missed a toxic earlier, I, I don't know. But he gets off the T-Wave, and this means he can just S-Toss till his days are over. So he's just gonna S-Toss on the Lando T. And honestly, if I were him, I would consider just S-Tossing again just to make sure the Torn wins. But there's the explosion. And at this point, HP Ice kind of just wins. HP Ice plus Torn. Oh, he does soft boils, so I guess that ensures the win. And yeah, this game is pretty much done, so Seam forfeits, and that's going to be the third game. So Badass is up 2-1. Chancy pulling him pulling away, but I think Torn kind of completed the game. I don't know. I feel like even if Seam killed the Chancy with the Diancy, the Torn could have done some more. I don't know how much Life Orb HP Ice does to Torn, so let's just calc that. And let's see, Diane C. Oh, you offensive, but probably minus Fidef too, so. HP Ice was not killing without a roll, but he might have been superpower too, so I, I, it could have mattered. It definitely could have. It may have made the game come down to missing or hitting. So, yeah, that's unfortunate for Seam, but that's gonna be 2 1 in Badass's favor. And let's look at the next game. So. We see Bettis is going to be using the Mega Metagross uh, Volturn team that uh, I actually helped him work on a little bit and Seam is going to be using a very interesting double water team with Starmie plus Gyarados and some spikes stacking too and Bishop. so let's just get right into it. He goes to his Heatran and Seam leads off with his Amoongus. I actually need to pause and evaluate the team preview a little bit. Uh, the Mega Metagross looks like a big threat to Seam's team, especially if it's Thunder Punch, which usually these days it is. And if it's basically Thunder, Ice Punch, Hammer Arm, oh shit, I know, I know that Badass likes to run Zen Headbutt, and I'm pretty sure this team runs Zen Headbutt and does not have fighting coverage. And regardless, Seam's best answer to Metagross is Bisharp, and to an extent, Starmie. So, Meta Metagross looks like a big threat to his team, and if that's Life Orb Starmie, then it's gonna get worn down really quick by the Heatran, and Badass has the road up to get momentum on Seam's team as well. And the Life Orb Torn is also pretty big. Um, Seam needs his Clef Key to kind of check Badass's offensive mons, and looking at Badass's team, he's really, really weak to Bisharp. Really, really weak to Bisharp, so that's gonna be a big th trouble for him. And I think that's Seam's main way to win this game, so. Uh, we see that he switches out the Gus into the Starmie as Badass just goes straight for the Stealth Rocks. I think Seam could have tried to Spore in case Badass did not taunt, but I guess he, that works out for him. And we see that the Starmie is defensive because we don't see any life orb damage. And we see a Scald right there, fishing for a burn and not wanting to lose momentum. I figure as Badass actually goes for the Wisp predicting the Rotom, so that works out really, really well for Seam. I don't know, personally I would have U-turned. Volt switched to get a little momentum and get in the life orb torn, but he double wisps, catches the Amoongus, so getting that a little weakened is definitely good. And he can volt into his own Amoongus right here, and that's gonna be good for him. So he can volt into his own Amoongus, and him not being burned, whereas Seam's Amoongus is burned, is gonna benefit him a lot. There's a crit, crit sludge bomb, so putting them slightly on even footing, but the burn is in the longer than a go in Seam's favor. We see that Badass's Amoongus is faster, and wow, that crit actually boosted the damage, but that was a, that was, a, either that was a low roll sludge bomb or something, but we see Badass pull a switch into his Rotom on a sludge bomb. I'm not really sure why. I'm not really sure what he's predicting right there. I guess he just didn't want to get low, and didn't want to get spored. I guess that's why. I think that's the only reason really why, but he's gonna pull a switch into Torn, nicely played, expecting Seam to not go for the Spore, and now he has his Life Orb Torn in, and this is gonna be big. He can fire off a Heat Wave right here, 
and yeah, that's gonna do a massive chunk to the Klefki. And once the Klefki is gone, the Torn kind of just runs train through Seam's team as Badass actually stays in and takes the T wave to kill the Klefki. I'm not really sure how much I agree with it, but I guess it helps to not get T waved with his other mons. So he loses the Torn to the Bisharp, and you see that it's Life Orb. So oh, I don't know. I don't really like. I don't really like losing Torn on Badass' end because it just does so much damage to Seam's team, but he pulls a nice but oh, actually what is he predicting a Moongus right there, but he goes he gets his Metagross in and he can ice punch right here because he doesn't have the intimidate and it's gonna do a lot. So Seam goes into his Starmie on the Metagross and oh we actually see it's not leftovers, so maybe it's cold berry. Not really sure what it is, but Seam tries to pull a switch into his Lando T, predicting the Thunder Punch. And Badass goes into his Rotom, which just generally deals with Starmie and gets off a Pain Split in exchange for rocks. Personally, I would have. I mean, I can understand Pain Split. I, I mean, I maybe I would have just not let Rotom get so weakened early in the game, but at least he Vol switches right there, gets the momentum, good play on his end, and you can get his Metagross right here. And yeah, Metagross, like I said, is a really big threat to Seam's team very very big threat and let's just see what he does and he goes straight for the Zen head but gets a crit on the Starmie but I think he can th thunder punch right here and put himself in a good position and that just takes out the Starmie so yeah that, that's this Metagross is a really big threat and Seam goes straight into his Gyarados pulls a switch into his Lando tree. I was wondering if that's what he wanted to do because to get the double intimidate and yeah, Badass is just playing safe with his Metagross. Playing safe is fine because his Metagross is just a really big threat to Seam's team. He can't let that Bisharp SD though. And that's why he can't throw out Spore freely. He can't afford to throw out Spore on his Amoongus. In fear that the Bisharp if in fear that he spores something else and that the Bisharp gets a chance to SD on the Amoongus. Because once that Bisharp gets a plus two, I think it's gonna be really, really tough for Badass to win. I think I'm pretty sure it's max speed tran. It might actually not be, but um, Max Speed Tran is definitely makes sense on his team, and he actually goes straight for the rocks as Seam switches in as Amoongus, so hopefully we see a taunt right here so that he can't spore, since Amoongus is just so bulky, it can tank so many hits, and now he's really really free to fire off a Lava Bloom, and this is really looking good for Badass. I don't know, I don't see how Seam wins this. He doesn't really get a good chance to SD with his Bisharp, and that's what he needs to win with it. He either needs to SD with his Bisharp, or he needs to heavily weaken Metagross, Amoongus, and Heatran, which is just not happening. Maybe the Gyarados can win if it's Bounce. I could see that happening. Sub DD Bounce. I could see that win, but um, he does just go straight into his Lando. Oh, yeah, this is Scarf Lando T, so Stone Edge misses too. It is Sub DD. It's actually not Leftovers. You don't see that every day, so Badass doesn't want to risk. He doesn't want to risk Stone Edge Miss, so he just goes straight for the explosion and into his Amoongus. As Seems just subs, does he just Giga Drain? Oh, he, fa he has Foul Play. I completely forgot about that. So Foul Play is also very good for him. And yeah, Foul Play is just going to put him in a great position. He can get Foul Play on this Lander's T and the Intimidate's not going to- Oh, he just Giga Drains. Yeah, um, I don't see how Seam wins. This is looking really, really bad for uh, Seam. He gets in his Bisharp, but this is going to get spored. I don't really see how he wins, and his Gyarados is almost dead. I think what he might have wanted to try to do is maybe knock off this Amoongus and then go to his Gyarados. Oh, I see what he's trying to do. So he's trying to force the Spore. Okay, so he's- so Seam created- okay, so let me explain that play. That was a smart play by Seam to go into his Bisharp on the Amoongus, kind of pressure him to Spore, and then sack something else to sleep. That's really, really smart on his end, and he can sack his Gyarados right here. Get in Bisharp as healthy as possible and SD as so yeah, he does go straight to his Gyarados. The thing is foul play, I think is gonna save Badass in this position, but no, there is a good play. Cause he needs cause he needs to keep the offensive pressure to Oh, I completely forgot. Okay, so I completely forgot that this Gyarados is Mega, but um yeah, I, I don't know. I completely forgot that Gyarados was Mega, but we see that the, going to Metagross was a smart play on Badass's end because he knows he has guaranteed sleep turn. He outruns everything on Seam's team, and he cannot afford to let Seam get off a free SD on the Amoongus. And I mean, I guess he has foul play, but he just wants to be really, really safe. And he does live us. Oh, wow! I did not know Bisharp could kill Metagross. I, I'm so used to Metagross living that. 
I actually want to calc that. Wow. That's either a max roll or that's adamant life orb. Usually I like jolly life orb, but... Yeah, that's either adamant life orb with a mid roll or a really, really, really high roll. But it kills. That's actually surprising me, but... He can go to his Heatran now, and that's that's the good thing. Um, that he goes to Heatran, because... See, if Seam kept around his Gyarados... If see okay, so if Seam... Maybe Seam, what Seam should have done, is maybe gone straight to... Straight to... Honestly, I think Badass had the game under lock. If Bish, if Seam went straight to Bish on the Metagross, killed it with a Sucker Punch, then... Um, then maybe he'd have to pull some magic with Gyarados plus Bisharp. But maybe it'd be, there'd be a chance, but now that this happened, it's pretty much GG, now that he lost his Gyarados. So, yeah, that's gonna be game. This Landorus has not burned any sleep turns, so there's no chance of it waking up. And the Heatran outruns and the Amoogus tanks. So yeah, that's pretty much game. So I guess, that, wow, that was close. A lot closer than I thought. Bisharp, Bisharp was a really, really big threat. I think Badass should uh, reconsider making the team to make a little more a little better versus Bishop because Bishop is such a big train the other thing about the baddest team is it relies on Amoongus tanking an ice crash from Weavile because Weavile comes in on Amoongus so often and then sporing it and or just pressuring Weavile and it's not really reliable but it works like it the team somehow pulls through it does but um yeah that's the game so that's the series and badass moves on to the next round he is actually going to be playing I think Nintendy, um, Nintendy next round. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys later.